welcome back to my channel it's been a minute but today is day one in Japan officially because we landed pretty late last night and we couldn't take the train to Osaka which was our first destination so we stayed in a capsule hotel so if you guys haven't seen my first experience in a capsule accommodation go check it out because it was a really cool experience but right now we're all cast included <laughs> Um, and the boys, we're all headed to Tokyo Station right now so that we can take the train, the JR train to Osaka and then just, you know, start our week, start our week, start our vacation. Vacation. Yeah, start vacation. our vacation. So they got some rice balls, so there's not the train station, but I couldn't help myself. I already bit into it, but I'm gonna try. I got a beef one, I think. We are now officially in Osaka. It was like about a three and a half hour train ride and just checked in and um, we just dropped our stuff off. So right now we're walking to Kuruman Market, which is I guess a food market. And we're starving right now and it's lunchtime so we're gonna get some good grub. So busy right now. Last night and early this morning it was so dead. Hey Danny. How the hell you But over here we have Billy. And then we have Steven over there who is the photographer. <laughs> and you guys met Cass already. <laughs> so many stores. Oh my goodness. I don't even know where to start to eat. And I don't even understand what any of these things are except for the pictures, so we're probably gonna eat based off of that. Wow. I'll just send in a good challenge. Save you guys the trouble. <laughs> It's hot as hell. Oh my god. I'm so hot. Mm. Oh my god. The flavor is so good though. Mm. Yummy. Take that. Ooh, there. Take that. He just took it from me. But it's a long video. You gotta figure out how you want it. It took forever to feed him. <laughs> oh, what a cutie baby. <laughs> Oh, that's so cute. Let me get a photo like that. Ah, yes. yeah, we, we don't have that many food. Like. Can I take him down? Can I take him down? Right. Oh, my God. Called, but it's like really lively full of like stores and arcades and casinos and whatnot but right now we're looking for mr. donut because I heard it's really really good it's like a mochi donut uh, so I guess it's like a chewy consistency um, so I'm like really really excited to try it because I love mochi and I love donuts so. I found mr. donut and I have to try one 
ASAP. So I got the strawberry one. Hmm. That's so weird. Try it. It's good, right? No, no, no. Yeah. It's good. Oh, it tastes more cheap. Right? It's squishy. What? What's the air reaction? I don't think it's kind of basic. I guess. But I that like the consistency. Hmm. What's this one? Okay. What do you want? Really chewy. Yes, yeah, chewy like the mochi, but they didn't have greasy, which I was looking forward to. And it has strawberry with second best. Not even good. Not good? I don't like it. No. Yeah. He does not like it. Oh. I like it. So we are back outside now. Um, I had a change of my outfit. Decided to go for a little bit of a street style because earlier I went for a little bit of a girly girl look. But after lunch and walking around, we went back to the Airbnb because we were kind of tired. <laughs> Um, last night we were really tired after dinner so I didn't, I didn't even bother vlogging uh, we just came home and went straight to bed but I just want to give you guys a Airbnb tour because I realized I didn't do that but um, we're staying in this Airbnb that's like two floors um, and they're separated so we have to like walk up a flight of stairs to get to the bedroom but this is the bedroom area so let me just go through from the front door so this is one door you come in, on the left you have a sink and this one has a bathroom 
just the bathroom very basic then we have a sofa bed or sofa um one bed here second bedroom here and then third over here there's Cass. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> I want to bring you guys downstairs with me, but because the guys are there. But before I do that, I want to show you guys the outfit pick today. Got my hair curled, as you saw earlier, kind of getting ready with me. Let me fix this. Got two pins, pearls, just to look more bedazzled, I guess. Here's a bodysuit that I'm wearing. Very colorful, Um, because we're going to be going to Osaka Castle, and I think this will look great with that backdrop. Got a fur fanny pack, so it's easy to use. Denim skirt and my Gucci sneakers. I'm going to come out of the fourth floor, which is where our bedrooms are. Um, we go down into the third floor, which is where the living space is. Excuse the mess, but we also have a sink here, a bathroom, and then the shower. What about me? And you guys. Bam! <laughs> Oh, His outfit really for the day. This, um, this is our living common area. The small kitchen, living room. It's a hot mess in here. And yeah, this is really honestly all that all there is. But this is our view of just the street. This coffee. Oh my god, it's like how I would get my coffee if I could drink this every day or if we had this back in here. It's like coffee slash milk tea. It's, really, it's like the perfect amount of like coffee taste and milk <laughs> and sweetness. Check out my uh, fashion over shirt right here. Not fucking with you. Why? What? He's so weird. You guys know that he's fashion so shy on baby. camera. But like when he's with a group of friends, he's so outgoing and so Not true. out there. You know it's true. true. But yeah, highly recommend getting this coffee. to Osaka Castle and we're walking about like a 20 minute hike to the castle itself from the subway station. Right now it's about like 9 a.m. and it's a Sunday and it's kind of quiet over here on this side of the city. Like so quiet which I'm kind of enjoying because yesterday where we were at like Dontonbury it was very very crowded. Um, a lot of tourists, a lot of locals. So this is like a nice change of scenery but it's already so hot and it's only 9 a.m. I can't imagine how much hotter it's gonna get later in the afternoon. So I think we just got to the main entrance and you can see there's a lot of people already um, Especially people who are doing tours and stuff But it's so hot, I had to put my hair up because it's like just too much It's like hot and humid and oh, it's the summertime So here it is, Osaka Castle, it is so beautiful I love that they have like the green um, roof and the gold, it's so pretty It's like, it looks really traditional but also like modern at the same time Oh, so misty. Oh, this actually feels mad good. So right now we're on the top floor to view this entire panoramic view of the city. So pretty. And there's also little boats down there. So the rest of the castle is basically like a museum and they don't really allow you to film or take photographs so I didn't really show any of that. But up here you can and there's a lot of people because the space is not that big but so pretty. So serene. Is it good? Yeah. That thing is good, right? Mm -hmm. what's, what's this? Pork pie. What's this? Chicken. Mm. Or chicken. That thing is good, right? Yeah, it is. Mmm. I'm gonna try this. Yeah. I'm gonna try the chicken. But let them try it too. You want some fried chicken? Cat. Cat. Mmm. Oh, baby. I found an everything matcha store. We got matcha shaved ice, ice cream, soft serve, floats, lattes, even matcha beer. Oh my goodness, how cool is this? For all my matcha lovers, I'm gonna try this out for you. We got this, I guess it's called bracken cake. It's kind of like rice cake, I feel like. <laughs> <laughs> Wow! Good. It's like tofu, but that sounds weird. It's so good. Oh! 
<laughs> You're like, yeah, I like it a lot. It's weird. It's good. It's like a, it's a it's not so sweet. I feel like dessert. But it's a little bitter from the green tea powder. Mmm. Okay. Yeah. You know Look how cute and small this claw machine is. I'm gonna try and get one. Okay, let, can you record it for me? Got you. Let me see. Let's see what I can get. Yeah, get it? Try. You got it. You think so? You got it. <gasps> oh Psych. my god, that was so close. Try again, try again. I don't have any more. Easy money, baby. Do we get it? Ooh. Oh. <laughs> Yay, congratulations! <laughs> Right now we're waiting online to be seated for some sushi. I feel like the Okasa, Okasa, no, Osaka. Oh my god. <laughs> Okasa, what's that? The Osaka castle was a little oh. underwhelming um, just because I think there's just so many people and I thought I, I didn't think the inside of the castle would be so modern or that it was a museum. I don't know why. So it is a museum like from floor two to like, Five, I believe and then you can go to the rooftop and see the entire panoramic view which was actually really nice to see um, but other than that I feel like I thought there was more you know and then we went to Shichinoji temple which was really nice and like quiet and super I guess not too touristy which I enjoyed because it was just I was able to see a lot more and it was really really empty so that was nice we've been waiting for like 10 minutes for sushi and I'm starving and tired I was up since 4 a.m. 4 a.m. last night just because I just woke up randomly and couldn't go back to sleep so now I'm kind of feeling like tired and I'm ready to like take a little nap oh we are excited about some sushi <laughs> your turn you gotta do your sushi dance <laughs> Finally, we are back home. <laughs> We're so, I am so tired actually. So we ended up um, getting, what do we do after lunch? Oh, we walked around, right? Walked around. We walked around, shopped. We got a massage, like a 40 minute quick massage. Um, I got a foot massage and just, I got a foot massage and it was really nice because um, just, it was just a nice little break and just to help my feet kind of rejuvenate get that circulation going and then um, the guys went back to the Airbnb so Cass and I went shopping walked around a little longer because we have a go-kart um, tour in about two hours so we didn't really want to spend three hours doing nothing and just hanging out so we decided to walk around shop a little more and then what else did we do how was that right yeah I feel like we did so much more though <laughs> did we no right that was no. it yeah but I don't know if I said earlier, lunch was really good and it was so cheap for the five of us. It was like 88 US dollars and 
the sushi was actually pretty good. Like, it wasn't like um, fishy or like tough. It was like super fresh and chewy. So that was good. It like melted in my mouth. But oh yeah, I want to talk about yesterday because I didn't close out yesterday's vlog. But yesterday we went to we just did a little bit of exploring. Um, not much, just because it was our first day and we were tired. So we just went to Dunterbury for some street food or not really street food just to like walk around to see the vendors and bright lights and signs and then what did we do yesterday that was it right yeah it's really good we ended it early yeah we, ended, we got home at like 8 p.m got ready for bed to at like 10 yeah went to bed at 10 and then i was like up at 4 a.m <laughs> so jet lagged i didn't sleep till like 11 30 also so i had like five and a half hours of sleep or five hours of sleep. I'm doing okay right now. I had a cup of coffee. Oh, I got a t-shirt. Let me show you guys. I was looking for a really cute t-shirt just to wear as an oversized, um, kind of like a casual outfit because I didn't pack enough big t-shirts. So we went to Uniqlo. Let me show you guys what I got. Can I stick you guys? Okay. Oh yeah, Danny won me this little octopus. Cute. It was a dollar. It's kind of expensive <laughs> for a small thing. And then, so I was looking for like a character uh, T-shirt because I thought it was cute to go with the theme. I was gonna get this Pikachu or Hello Kitty T-shirt, but it was like weird, weirdly shaped. Um, so I got this guy or girl. Do you guys know who this is? I have no idea who this is. If you do know, please let me know because this is such a cute character. Um, but I love the color pink. So I think it'll look cute. It matches my nails too. Okay, so we're back out again. Have a change of the outfit. This is a new t-shirt that I got. Some biker shorts I rolled up and my sneakers. We're going to the uh, Mario go-kart right now. Super, super excited. And so I wanted to wear something more comfortable and sporty so that when I'm driving around, I feel okay. But it might be raining later, so I'm a little, a little worried about it because if it does rain, they have to cancel it. So crossing my fingers that it doesn't rain. Riding around and then halfway it starts pouring. I am soaked. Thank you. He gave us towels. Oh my god, this is oh, crazy. It's freaking cold. And it's freezing. It was raining so hard. Like my entire hair and like look at my whole shirt. It's like soaked. Oh my god. Freak. I know, right? It's so cold. Makeup wet. My makeup be like. in Osaka. We all got up pretty early this morning, around 6 o'clock. Uh, so we decided to get some breakfast right now. Now it's around 8.15. We kind of slept it and hung out, um, but here I have my morning coffee. I want one of these every single day that I'm here because it's so good. But do you see all these people behind me? They're all going to work. It's crazy. They're like 
an army of ants all walking to the train station. So many of them. Yesterday was so fun. The I would highly recommend doing the Mario Go Kart if you're in Japan. Like I would say, do it in Osaka or Tokyo just because they're like bigger cities, I guess, and you can see all the skyscrapers and all the traffic that's happening. But it was so fun. I highly recommend it just because it's an experience from. I guess like being on the road and get, getting to drive around and see everything rather than walk around on foot. I thought the go-kart would go maybe like 30 to 40 um, miles per hour, but we were going at like 70. So I was like kind of like worried because I didn't want to like slip or drift or anything. So if you do decide to do the Mario go-kart, I highly recommend doing it like at nighttime just because you can see all the city lights and everything's like super bright and you know, pretty. Uh, but also make sure to check the weather in advance and not do it when it's raining because you won't be able to drive around and it's just painful, cold and not that worth it in the rain. <laughs> so right now we're headed to Ichiban because we have to try some Ichiban ramen in Japan since we have it in New York and it was originated from here. We were saying how it should be better here just because you know it's like all created and made here whereas in New York everything's imported over there so probably not as fresh as it would be here. That's the Glico Man, Ibusu Bridge and Dontonbury. So empty right now, like literally no one here. Yeah, cook it. Mm. Wait, do they have to have one? Half? No. I want that. Okay. Oh, so each one is a. Mine also small. Is it? I got that. Gotta try the soup first. <laughs> Mmm, yo, the lace is so good. Better than New York? Do you think better I feel like a little, it's a little bit better, but it's like very close. Oh. Mm. 